In this video, I'm gonna literally tell you the two ways that you can get more comfortable with your hair loss situation, however that looks for you. I want you to have a good look, okay, at my hair situation here. And I'm asking you seriously, do you think, is this something that I should be ashamed of? Hello and welcome to this video. I'm here in the city of Southampton. I've come here because I need to share with you a very important concept about how you can get more comfortable with your hair loss situation, or in fact, any body insecurities, any appearance insecurities that you might have. So listen, if you actually wanna feel better if you want to know what can you do to start to at least make headway into feeling better about how you look or about your hair loss situation then please watch this video all the way through we're going to head into town let me know your answer in the comment section let's get into this video two ways that you can get more comfortable with your hair loss situation, however that looks for you. I'm gonna get straight into it. It's all about expanding your comfort zone in your appearance. So like I said, I'm talking about hair loss here, but if you've got any appearance concerns whatsoever, man, woman, young, old, it's about expanding your comfort zone. I'm, I'm gonna tell you two ways that you can do that, okay? So the first way, is to slowly creep out of your current comfort zone. Now we all do things that can, you know, help us feel comfortable in certain situations where we would otherwise be insecure, okay? Or uncomfortable, apprehensive, all of those things. And don't forget, I'm talking mainly about appearance concerns here. Okay, so how can you slowly increase that comfort zone? now? What you need to do is recognize the certain things that you're doing to try and keep yourself in that space of feeling comfortable. For some guys, it's obviously a certain hairstyle. For other guys, it's gonna be the hats. It's gonna be behaviors for some people. And we all know for me, it was ruffling up my hair on top of my head to try to cover that bold spot, okay? Now you're gonna be in situations where you're gonna be feeling uncomfortable, okay? so. Let's pick a really easy one. You've got the guy who's got the receding hairline and he's got an, a nice long fringe to cover that up, to cover up the receding hairline, okay? So it's a little bit noisy, but hey, I just needed to, to be out the sun. So he's got his big fringe and he's walking around town and it's getting a bit windy and it's blowing around and he's thinking, his immediate thought is, I'm exposed here, right? my behavior, like what they call safety behavior, is not working in this situation because it's too windy for it. And my, uh, I guess, secret of uh, my insecurity here is being exposed. And then you start to think of all sorts of crazy things, catastrophizing, right? You start to think like, people are gonna notice, people are gonna look, think I, I look strange, people are gonna think I look old, people are gonna think I look ugly. I don't know where I'm gonna go here. Let's go, let's go through the car park. People are gonna think it looks ugly and you start to really worry, okay? You start to really worry and you wanna do anything and everything you can to get back in that comfort zone, get that hair back in the right place and uh, get that safety blanket on, right? So in that situation, your comfort zone is very small because any discrepancy in that fringe in that perfect fringe or in the weather, any changes to that, okay, you're exposed, your comfort zone is broken and you're not out there and you're feeling awful. So what you need to do is you need to challenge those ideas, those thoughts, those assumptions, okay? You need to be in that situation where it's super windy, your hair's flying around, the receding hairline's exposed, 
and you need to try your very best to not use that safety behavior, to not want to freak out and get to the nearest bathroom and put that fringe down, okay, and cover it up. Try your very best in that moment to just push through it, push through that uncomfort, okay? And observe, okay? Observe what happens. Okay, how do I get out of here? Observe what happens. And chances are, the very things that you fear are gonna happen won't. No one's gonna come up to you and say anything, okay? No one's gonna point and laugh. It doesn't happen, okay? It doesn't happen. And by doing that, what you're gonna do is, what the hell? By doing that, by being in that situation for a little bit of prolonged period of time, you then get back to what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe you're out shopping, maybe you're at work, maybe you're just out having a little leisurely stroll. Oh my goodness me, I don't know how to get out of here. Okay, maybe you're just out having a nice leisurely stroll. So, Okay, so, oh wait, I need to go to Starbucks, just across the road here. Again guys, please keep watching, keep, make note of these things, because genuinely, if you start to implement them, you're going to feel more comfortable in yourself, in your appearance, in all of that stuff, okay? So make note of these as you go along if you like. Right, so, you're in that situation now, and what you'll find is you'll be able to, if you just push past that brief moment of discomfort, if you can push past that, okay, really test yourself in that moment, then you're gonna get back to what you're supposed to be doing in life, okay, because we've all got things we need to do, want to do, enjoy, and slowly your mind will ease off of it, okay? So this is gonna be hard initially, especially if this is a big thing for you. But if you can just push past that level of discomfort, get back to doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? What happens is, like I mentioned, your comfort zone slowly begins to expand. And the next thing, the next time you find yourself in that situation where it's blowing around, you'll kind of instinctively remember, you'll be like, okay, well, last time I was in that situation, I was freaking out what's gonna happen, or and nothing really happened, so just chill, you know? You just kind of instinctively know that, you'll recognize that, listen, it's fine, okay? It's, it's gonna be fine. And again, your comfort zone, starts to expand and even beyond that because you've been in this box right in this really small comfort zone you actually get excited genuinely like to keep challenging yourself further and further so for example if the hat is a big thing for you okay you'll actually start to be like you know what i'm not wearing the hat around the house all the time or i'm gonna leave it an hour before i put my hat on okay and then you'll be like okay i've done that now that feels good you'll notice that it feels much better to be constantly worrying, I've got to have my hat, I've got to have my hat. And then you'll say, okay, you know what? I've got work today. I normally take the hat as like a backup. I'm leaving the hat at home today. And you won't have that thing with you, okay? There, just in case you need it. But what happens, like I said, is you'll find, okay, it's gonna be uncomfortable first of all, but you won't need it. This is where you get the bus to London, by the way. Let's get back to it. So, like I said, right, you're gonna slowly increase, expand that comfort zone. And this is gonna look different for all guys, okay? For some of you guys, I know you're out there, and this was me when I first started. You've Maybe you've shaved your head and you're bald, but you just don't feel fully comfortable rocking the bald head yet, right? And this is exactly why I'm out here doing this now, because this is what I did to expand my comfort zone. I would have to keep it super shaved. I would have to keep maintain this perfect shaved headed look if I wanted to feel my best, if I wanted to feel totally comfortable. And that kept me in a very small box, okay? A very small comfort zone. And you know, because anything outside of those two days of shaving my head, I was freaking out. I was worrying, right? What I needed to do, was I slowly expanded out to four days, five days not shaving my head. And what I'm doing around walking here now is what I needed to do where 
let's be honest, this, for a lot of you guys who are worried about your hair falling out, worried about going bold, looking bold, whatever that means to you, I'm just gonna wander around here for a bit aimlessly before I go and get a coffee until we talk about the next part. So keep watching guys, please. This right here, guys, check it out. It's probably your guys' ultimate, if you're watching this video, likely, or maybe would have been, your ultimate level of discomfort, of uncomfortableness, right? You, this is your ultimate uncomfortable zone, right here, looking like this, okay? It is, let me check it out. We got, I don't know, four or five weeks here, hair, you know, balding, on point, visible as hell. In fact, let me give you a really good look there, look. Visible as hell. Walking around town, there's people about here. And not only am I walking around like this, I'm also holding a camera, talking to myself. And there's that guy on the bus there, really disapproved apparently of that, but whatever. So, I had to do this. This was a step for me, and this is why I'm doing it now. And I think it's good, again, to kind of challenge myself here. And I'm also gonna be doing a few other videos talking about this for myself to further expand my comfort zone. Because what happens, I walk around here, I'm doing this, and all of those things that I think might happen, like even this, holding the camera, talking to himself, someone's gonna be like, oh, look at that weirdo, what's he doing? Yeah, maybe they do think that, but it's fine. Like, nothing bad happens, you know? And you need to challenge that, because if I didn't get out here and do this, and do this video, and I'm out here randomly talking to a camera, then, and it has happened before, well then my comfort zone is super small, isn't it? Because I like, oh, I can't be out in public filming like this, you know? Because I'm thinking what's gonna happen, all of this stuff, and I just stay in that little box, in that little shell. But now that I'm out here doing this, I realize it's totally fine, and what's happened? My comfort zone has expanded, okay? With the hair, how this looks, my comfort zone has expanded. And that's the first thing that you guys can do to feel more comfortable is to slowly expand that comfort zone by edging out of it, challenge it, get uncomfortable to be more comfortable. I'm gonna grab a coffee. Let's talk about the second thing that you can do. Can I get a double espresso to take away, please? Double espresso? Yes, please. That uh, is 2.45. Okay. Nice, easy. If you need their seats. That's okay, thank you. Alright, Okay, guys. You know I get, I like to get fired up when we do these videos, so we got a cheeky double espresso. Let's catch a little buzz. And thank you so much to the people on screen right now. I, um, I'm forever grateful, honestly. Nobody needs to do that, but it's massively appreciated. So thank you for the coffee, guys. Let's get on to the second way that you can get more comfortable with all of this stuff, all right? And that, as we head into the sunshine here, is to build the areas in which you derive that confidence from, okay? Now again, there's two ways that you're gonna be able to do this. Make a note of these, okay? Keep watching make a note of these things. And I'm serious, right? Honestly, if you're not confident in whatever aspect of your appearance or yourself, things like that, seriously, give these things a try. Don't just watch this video and, and kind of think, yeah, that's a good idea, <laughs> you know? Actually, give them a go, seriously. These are the things that help me and these are the things, these are the things that help so many guys out there. Now, let me catch this buzz. Oh, because you know when, when we get fired up, guys, it's game time. It's on, and the need for the last part of this video. And another reason to keep watching is because I'll show you what I like to um, to order at the moment, my favorite meal if I come into town. Marvelous, so two ways you're gonna be able to do this, guys. Two ways you're gonna be able to work on those areas in which you derive your confidence from. For some guys, okay, merely recognizing that they actually have loads of areas already in place is enough, okay? And what do I mean by that? This hair loss stuff, again, check it out, okay? If 
for a lot of people, it totally takes the main stage and it overshadows loads of other aspects of their lives, okay? So you might be here watching this video and think, oh God, there was a point before this hair loss where I felt great, you know? I was confident, I was doing loads of things, I was studying, I was working hard. Hey guys, you know, I was doing all of this good stuff and then suddenly hair loss comes along and you feel worthless, you feel ashamed. More on that in a minute. Okay, you feel like that. And what happens is, like I said, this hair loss stuff just completely, the insecurity around it completely overshadows all of the other stuff about yourself, all of the good stuff. You've completely forgotten about it. And you, my friend, you need to recognize that once more. So you're already right taking notes on these things. When you finish this video, I want you to legitimately write down, okay? Bullet point a list. First of all, things that you actually appreciate about your physical appearance, okay? Maybe that's just an overall good sense of health. Maybe that is your height. Maybe that's your shoe size. Maybe that's your skin tone. Maybe that's your, I don't know, what else is there? Whatever, right? Maybe it's your frame. Now, don't spend too long on the physical appearance side of things because at the end of the day, those things are easily changed and a lot of them are just a given, right? Easily changed in a sense of, you know, you don't want to suddenly think, oh, I'm a good weight, and then you put on weight and now you're insecure about that, okay? What I mean is your height and stuff like that is all predetermined, so don't spend too much time on that, but listen, despite the hair, we've all got things that are great even about our appearance, okay? It's time to recognize those again. Next up, you've done that list. Next up, who are you? Okay, I'm asking you. Who are you? Wow, that's noisy. When people, okay, I feel that espresso kicking in. When people say about you, when people talk about you and people describe you to someone else, like, oh, you know that guy? Yeah, you know, the guy that whatever, whatever. What are those whatevers, okay? What feels those? Are you proud of those things, okay? Chances are you probably are. Like, you probably, most people watching this video will actually be a decent person to other people, or at least try to be. You've helped someone out. You try to help others out in whatever way you can. You work hard in certain areas, okay? Guys, don't forget those things. Write a list now of all of those things that you actually appreciate about yourself, about your character, about who you are. Okay, write them down now as you're listening to me here talk and walk around Southampton. And the next thing, the next little list on this thing is thinking forwards, okay? What are you working towards? Okay, right now, what are you working towards? Are you in a job that you actually kind of like and you're working towards getting higher up in that company? Maybe you work for a great company. There's actually a lot of them out there, to be fair. Maybe you've got great colleagues, okay? And you appreciate that. What are you doing outside of work as well? You know, maybe you're part of a sports team who's doing quite well at the moment, or maybe you're a pretty good key figure in that sports team. I don't know, you just bring everyone together, or you're the dude who bloody sorts out the snacks, or you sort out the social events for your team. You sort out the calendar, you're organized, whatever, okay? There's probably things that you're doing that you've forgotten about. And I want you to, right now, as you're watching this video, to remember those things once again. Check out these pretty flowers here. Okay, absolutely marvellous. Just like I appreciate those flowers, that's what you need to do. Now, do I really want to walk over here where it's super loud? Probably not, so we're going to go that way towards the park. Okay, guys, hang on, let me cross the road here so I don't get killed. Okay, we're safe. So, I was talking about you writing that list of things that you actually appreciate yourself. Listen, for some of you guys, maybe that is enough. 
you just need to get get things back on track get out of your head a little bit and re kind of establish your connection with who you are what you're doing what you're striving for and that's going to be enough for a lot of you okay but if you're not kind of proud of yourself okay in terms of like what you're doing what you're trying to be if you don't think like oh well i don't have anything to be like confident in to be like proud of i'm not really like working towards anything well probably need to change that okay you probably need to change that and there's loads and loads and loads of ways that you can do that and I, a little example here again not to blow my own trumpet but i feel good now that i've actually stopped being lazy in a lot of things hey i've had a massive lazy streak and i started taking russian classes on a tuesday evening once a week and i just feel so much better knowing that you know once in a while i'll get up in the morning or early whatever and i'll try to learn something like i'm trying to do something new something different that i haven't done before and that makes me feel good like that makes me feel good about myself it's again and it expands my comfort zone because you know if if for example i feel like oh someone's laughing at the way i look right now right i know in myself like i'm conf i'm not confident in myself but i know who i am i know what i'm trying to do and so for someone just to do like one thing and like laugh at the way i look it doesn't penetrate that do you know what i mean because that isn't the one tiny little thing that i derive all my confidence from so then if someone attacks that boom my whole little world of confidence is shattered no because i derive my confidence from loads and loads of different areas and this is what i'm trying to encourage you guys to do as well and again like i said at the start of this video this goes for men women hair loss no hair loss wherever you're at okay but for most of you it's going to be hair loss obviously okay so there you are like working on ways to expand that comfort zone you either want to re-recognize where you get that confidence from okay get back to being who you're about by writing it down actually acknowledging it okay not just thinking oh yeah i'm a good person really like actually write it down and let it sink in okay and also maybe try some new things okay try some new things get back on the horse in terms of like getting back on some sort of career path that you can be proud of or like i said learning something new there's endless ways and don't think of it as some like daunting task like oh my god i'm so rubbish and i don't know where to start like that's a beautiful place to be in because there's so much potential to learn so many things right great place to be at even with this whole russian thing i was like oh my goodness me i'm back to when i went in that first class right i knew nothing and i felt like an idiot but then i was thinking wow like the path in front of me is so long like i'm occupied here i've got so much available for me here to like develop myself do you know what i mean like there's such a big opportunity of like cheeky cheeky baggy such a big opportunity of like so much to do right so i'm never going to be like oh i've not got anything to do anyway i digress that guys those two things combined is how you can expand your comfort zone those two things and i really encourage you to to work on that now okay i really encourage you to work on that now hang on before we carry on let's appreciate this little fountain here outside the uh art gallery in the library check out this fountain marvelous noisy though so let's go into the park okay and what a beautiful park it is so Although I'm pretty sure if you come here at night, they send you a text message like, don't go through this park, it's not safe. Um, <laughs> okay, like I said, this isn't a thing where I'm just going to ask you to, oh, pat yourself on the back, boo-hoo you, like, it's going to be fine, don't worry, you're confident, really. No, like, those are literally two, three action steps that you want to start taking to expand that comfort zone, okay? And I will summarise them in the description. So... Please keep watching because I really want this video to get out to a wider audience for this next part, this next question that I have for you guys. And that is for me, for me to ask you guys about my current look, right? My current appearance. Like I said, I'm getting out here. 
and I'm demonstrating to you the exact thing that I did or had to do to feel more comfortable about myself. I had to get out of here looking like this, okay? Which was at one point my literal biggest fear. And then when I actually like forced myself to face up to that fear, to be like this, out and about, and all those things I thought bad that were gonna happen didn't. Like I said, my comfort zone massively increases. Anyway, so I'm here to ask you, and this is an interesting thing, but you know, when my first, when my hair first started falling out, and I know there's a lot of guys who also feel like this, like I felt this sense of shame. I felt ashamed. One, that it was happening in the first place, like I wasn't this guy with like perfect looks, perfect hair. And two, the fact that I was letting it bother me, like the fact that I was getting upset about it and I was like, oh, look, I want to cover it up and stuff. Like I also felt a sense of shame because of that. And so I ask you, and this is why I want this video to get out to a bigger portion of people. I want this to get, I really want this video to get outside of the, I guess like hair loss, regular hair loss viewers. So please like this video. Go ahead now and just click that like button. I oh, that's cringe and I hate asking for that, but that does help. And let's try and get it out to more people so that they can answer this question. People of the world, okay, outside of guys who are just worrying about their hair. Is this something I should be ashamed of? Okay, a 30 year old man started losing his hair when he's 25 and now it's like got to this extent, like, why? Like, okay, I know the answer, but I just wanna ask you, like, seriously, write it down, give me your opinion, whatever you think about this stuff. Is this something that, guys, is this something that I should feel ashamed of, a sense of shame? Wow, well, let's check out this pigeon man. We've got a war memorial here. I'll show you guys. Check out this pigeon man. It's a lot of pigeons. <laughs> do you feed them every day? No, I can't do it every day. Not every day. Ah, okay. So you can't walk every day. Yeah, yeah. I used to do it every day. Used to, yeah. I'll just give them a bit of food now and again. Yeah. <laughs> I saw if one eating out of your hand just now. Special food, you know. Special food? Yeah. Oh, um, you get bird seed, do you, from Jolly's? Condition, right? Oh really? Keeps them in good, good condition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you won't get no disease from them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pigeon conditioner. Yeah. I've been doing it for years, I ain't caught a thing yet. Good, good. You're obviously strong. I deal with rats and all rats. White one there, look, look at that one. Yeah. He looks in I good. I always call that the, the double piece. Right, the double piece. It looks in good condition, that one. That comes on me. Enjoy, anyhow. See you later. I come on me everywhere where I go. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> good. Nice, the pigeon man. Okay, so seriously, right? One of the things that I can do with this YouTube channel now that we've got a big audience is keep furthering this discussion, okay? Get that discussion out there, make it bigger. And again, this is why, if you're watching this video, thank you. If you watch this point, thank you. Uh, like the video because we can get it out there to more people. And if you check out some of the most popular videos on my channel that have got out to that wider audience, not just guys who are involved in worrying about their hair, it's actually really reassuring, like for real. And I encourage you to check some of those out. And this is what I hope for this video. I hope that that is what I can get from this video. It can get out there to a wider audience and they can start to share their opinions because I kind of learned now, like for real, this whole hair stuff, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to the answer. Like it's so, such a normal thing, an experience for a guy, especially at my age now, even when I was 25 to experience. They're really, like I feel weird that there was a time where I was ashamed of it, you know, I, was, I felt that, sh that sense like that. I'm trying to think of other words to describe it like that, but that's really kind of the best one, I think. Feeling that ashamed, like, why is this happening? Like, I hate this, this is happening to me. And um, I just hope that there are people, again, this audience can get out to the wider audience so that we can recognize 
or that to help some of you guys who are watching this video recognize like this really really isn't something that you need to to be ashamed of okay for real so give me your opinions okay if you're watching this because you wanted to know some ways that you can genuinely expand your your comfort zone then i hope you implement those things and i also want to give i want this video again like i said to get out to a wider audience and get, share your opinions on this stuff the stuff that i talked about this appearance right here and again i'm just out here to kind of demonstrate exactly what i did I slowly expanded my comfort zone until I went to the ultimate uncomfortable zone. Okay, walking around like this, out in town, in front of people, now I'm holding the camera in front of my face, like, you know, talking to myself, chatting to the pigeon dude, that was cool. And um, listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm gonna go and uh, order my favorite stuff, so keep watching for that. But no, seriously guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for clicking on it. Thanks for sharing your opinion in the comment section. Let's have a healthy discussion about this, okay? About hair loss, about guys feeling ashamed, feeling embarrassed because they're losing their hair. It's ridiculous. And I think one of the best ways that I now can help that whole situation is to get more and more of a discussion going. So listen, comment, tell me what you think about this. How do I look right now? I'm out here in town with hair like most guys worst nightmare and I want to know what you think about it and again I'm not doing this to bloody but like what do I say blow my own trumpet it's a thing of I want to know your opinion about this whole hair loss stuff in general so or not even just like hair loss stuff like I guess your opinions on body image and, and feeling insecure and stuff like that anyway I'm really going on now but the espresso is kicking in it feels good and uh, guys we're gonna go have some lunch and I will see you very soon. We've got loads more coming, especially with this. But I'll see you again in another video very soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, Christmas is coming up. I should mention the channel's sponsor, Leaf Shave. Check those guys out down in the description box, guys. I'll see you in that next video. Thanks for watching. is the bonus content that you uh, subscribed for and stayed watching till. First thing you're gonna need for your epic lunch is some milk tea, okay? Some bubble tea, some boba tea as people call it. And uh, that's what we're gonna get right now. Let me show you what you need to order. Okay, we won't be ordering anything yet. It doesn't open until 11, it's 10.48. So uh, let's go for a wander around the park. Here he comes. <clears throat> Hiya. First customer. Mm -hmm. Am I okay to order or? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so you've got your milk tea, which is a large milk tea, less sugar, less ice, with the golden pearls right there. That's the key, that's key number one. Okay, and now you need to head to somewhere that sells some variation of Chinese Asian cuisine, and you're onto a winner. For anyone who cares, the Chinese for milk tea is nai cha, cha means tea. Nai is part of the word for milk. I guess while we wait, I want to point out to you, you see where that KFC sign is over there? That was the first place 
I ever got uh, <laughs> I ever got a, a good hide in in town, <laughs> a good smack, a bit of fisted cuffs out in town, hanging around. Some dude comes straight up and whack. No reason. Just bloody wallop me right around the ear hole. Oh. 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 Oh.